Hi, I'm Claire CJ Stanton. I'm Megan Sabrantis. Today is December, December 28th, 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say 2023 or 2023? 2023. What was the last question? How old how are, you? are you? And we're both 25. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of silly to say it at the same time. Really? Yeah. Well, how about you just say the date? We're so silly. <laughs> okay. I have no makeup on. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Claire Stanton. No, go back. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Do I look stupid? No. I should shower. I'll probably like edit it and be like, like okay. the thing. it'll be like so many false starts. Okay, okay, good. Hi, my name is Claire CJ Stanton. And I'm Megan Cervantes. Today is December 28th, 2023. Um, I'm 25 years old. And I'm also 25 years old. You're gonna turn 26. Stop. <laughs> I just turned 25. You're I'll basically 30. Stop. <laughs> Stop that. The most important thing to me right now is my family, my friends, and Jeremiah. I would say one of the most important things to me, I'm still trying to work on like my mental health. True. And also Megan. <laughs> Duh. Of course. And Claire. This past year, the WGA was on strike, SAG was on strike for many, many, many days. That was the biggest thing. And then the strikes were over with, you know, some people are agree with it, some people don't. I think so many things could be changed. But um, then I got, you know, another job on a TV show. So, woohoo. Um, the biggest thing in my career is I just finished my first year of PA school and I got my short white coat. Very proud. Thanks, thanks. Next year, I'm gonna go first. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, because I have an answer. Yeah. Next year is like actually making films. And I know it's like being on a big scale project versus doing something myself. It's like you just have to make it and then submit it to festivals. And like mm. you like get help from your friends. So I'm like trying to make that, you know, a priority of like making films and putting it out into the world. That's how I'd be more successful, I think in my career. Um, I would want to be more successful next year. Hopefully I would have a job by next year lined up for me and I would have graduated and everything was done. I passed all my exams. I would describe that as being successful next year. Got in, first time applying to PA school. <laughs> One, two, three, Gaza. Gaza. For, for me, just because of my past like roommate experiences, it's just like making sure your home is like where you're most comfortable and mm. putting your like working on the friendships that really make you feel like you can be yourself mm. and like building that relationship rather than trying to please like other people because I'm a big people pleaser. Oh, well, that's good. Um, I feel like now I'm starting to focus more on my own opinions and not my family's. I need to prioritize myself and my life over anyone else's, so I guess that. My favorite trend right now <laughs> is he gave me the ew. I'm not on the same FYP. Lady page. Boner gone, gone. <laughs> this is what you do. You say, he gave me the ew, and then you put what he says, he or whoever says that gives you the ick. For example, he gave me the ew when he says, I talked to my mom about her fight, and she said, Ugh. Lady Boner gone, gone. I feel like that's giving like millennial, like explaining what the trend is. <laughs> You're just old now. <laughs> Why did I explain it? Why did I explain it? Quarter life crisis coming up. <laughs> I really just explained it. Okay, okay, you go, you go, you go. Mine, it's like, it's on TikTok, obviously, because I spend so much time there and I get a lot of serotonin from that app. Um, it's it's just like, um, what is it? Like, people are just walking. It's like, uh -huh. we're so-and-so. Of course we're so -and -so. Oh. My favorite one has been like, we're adopted. Of course we've asked, we've been asked what our real names are. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love those. And then I saw one with like zookeepers. Yeah. 
those are those so are funny. many. Yeah, I like those. I like those a lot too. When they're walking, they're recording each other like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like we're theater majors, or like we're production assistants. Yeah. Or like we're siblings, or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the one where it's like, um, we're siblings? Of course, I tell you, you're adopted, and like she's actually <laughs> yeah. adopted. Yeah. yeah. She's like. What? <laughs> I got engaged. <laughs> I got engaged. That's my highlight of this year. Jeremiah proposed. I want to see the Barbie movie. <laughs> Honestly, because there were so many people at the theater and they were just all like dressed in pink. Oh, were and they it was all like, pink? Yeah. Oh. And then there's like, you know, Oppenheimer and Barbie and it was just like, Oh, yeah. So many people. It was so much fun. Yeah. Like, like community of going to the movies. That's cute. Awesome. I always do this. I can't stop like posing. I'm like, hmm. Just like <laughs> I'm like, hmm, let me think. My dream vacation looks like me on a beach. It's like really warm and sunny and I'm just in my bikini. Yeah, in the sand. That's that's any my beach? Any beach? Yeah, any beach, honestly. As long as it's warm. For some reason, right now, I just really want to go, like, in a cabin in the woods and have it be, like, super nice and, like, earthy and natural. Oh, we're so and, like, different. I know. <laughs> and just have, like, a fireplace going and just be away from people. Oh, that sounds so fun. But, like, I could be close to the beach, but it depends, like, where you are. When you just, like, walk down. Or, like, even a lake. Yeah. But I would also, it would be really cool if you could, like, drive somewhere and then have, like, things be accessible by bike. Because I love Ooh. biking. Even though someone stole my bike this year, past year. Oh. Go, let it go, let it go. Let it go, let it go. Sorry. I love bike lanes and bikes. It's just like, there should be more. You know what, let's see. Actually, I don't know. I could have a guess. <clears throat> but there's, you know how there's a way to check? Yep, I knew it. Where, what? Where? Oh. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. TikTok. Wait, yeah. what did your hour say? Oh. Hour and seven for two today. hours and thirty one minutes, <laughs> and then Instagram and then Safari and then notes and then messages. Mine is maps. That's embarrassing. <laughs> My second one is maps. I don't know how to get anywhere, <laughs> and then messages. I'm either on TikTok, lost and I don't know where to go, so I need my maps, and I'm texting someone. Possibly, where am I going? How do I get there? Where are you? I can't yeah, find you. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Wow. Oh yeah, I only take my news source from that talking fish on SpongeBob. That's like. <laughs> Today in breaking news, <laughs> like I trust him with my life. It's so funny because it's like a fictional thing, but like he delivers. He delivers real, real content. He is my news source. Like I only listen to him. That's so scary. The internet. <laughs> it is scary. I mean, this past year, because of the strikes and my quarter life crisis, it's just hard. Like finding my place, knowing like what am I doing on this world, you know? Just like. I got some deep depression on there yeah. this past year. Yeah, my mental health wasn't doing well in my first year of PA school because I wasn't, for the first time, like scoring the best scores. I wasn't getting all A's. I wasn't getting upper 90s. And I didn't know what that was like prior to PA school. And I wasn't doing well. I was like an average student. And that was hard for me. And I struggled. And my mental health went down, down, down the drain. So that's something I struggled with, but I'm getting better. Now that my first year's over, I'm like, eh, I'm better now. But that was hard, I struggled with that bad. That was me in high school. <laughs> that was me in high school. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, like I wasn't even scoring that bad. I was getting like C's. Her school passing was a, like a C. An 81. B, B's. A B. B. Yeah, you have to get an 81 or higher to pass. So if I got an 80, you don't pass the exam, and I would cry for days. We got a smart one over here, basically. So whenever I got an 80, they would be like, you didn't pass your exam. I was depressed. But then, but then I just take it again, and then I get a better score, and it's fine. But I struggled with that. I survived the strike, barely. I got on that unemployment. I was like reaching out for help. I got, you know, CalFresh whatever that's called, SNAP, EBT. We got some free groceries, you know, oh, I stayed afloat. I mean, I did, it was hard, but like I did it. 
and now it's over and I have a job now. So that's something Yay. to be proud of. That's good. Thanks. Um Oh, sorry. Go ahead. And I also live in a studio now. <laughs> I know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm proud of passing my first year of PA school. I really didn't think I was gonna make it. I'm not even exaggerating. I thought I wasn't like good enough to finish. I, I was completely fine, but I was just thinking I wasn't good enough. But I'm really proud of myself for finishing and for not giving up. Because towards the end, I thought I was gonna give up, but I didn't. So I'm happy I pushed through and I got to finish my first year and get my white coat, so I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting there. I'm proud that I'm gonna be starting my clinicals. I'm really proud of that. Top movies. Okay, let me find my litter box. I know, Hold you on. have an actual litter box. I don't know, I have to think. I love it. My first one would be like Barbie because it was so much fun. I'm gonna do like, I'll see if I can find my top like three or five. Oh. I have like one I can think of right now. Okay. Is everything everyone wants this year? No, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> what else came oh. out this year? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I watched Poor Things. That was really good. Oh, yeah. It's kind of long. It's much more like it was very raunchy, and I wasn't expecting that, but it was really good. Um, Barbie, poor things. Oh, oh I had thought of one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the Boy and the Heron, Studio Ghibli, Hayao Miyazaki. Oh, I only can think of one. Okay, The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite. Rachel Zegler. Yeah, so good. Oh, Tom Blythe. <laughs> Like, what came out this year? The Holdovers was really good, too. It's like, even though it's like very, what's it called, men-heavy, mm -hmm. like testosterone, like men-centered, but it was a really good movie, and you just felt nostalgic going mm -hmm. into it. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Did I really not see, oh, No Hard Feelings? That wasn't one of my favorite movies. <gasps> Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, of course. Oh my god, oh, yeah, one. that one's good. All right, that's I a really think good I'm pretty, one. I'm okay with those, I think. I'm okay with Ooh. the one that I watched that I haven't seen anything else. <laughs> this one. It sucks that we have to like we only see each other like once a year, which is crazy. Stop. That is sad. I love you. I love you. <laughs> this one. <laughs> what would you do? I was like, mm. <laughs> like my dog. Stop. Our was like, yeah. <laughs> I go to the movies a lot by myself. Which is like, sometimes it is sad and lonely, but like, I do enjoy going to the movies. Yeah? Yeah. That brings you joy? I think so. Yeah. I would say good music. Oh yeah. Mine is always hanging out with my friends. You know what really brought me joy? Inside Out? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't get it. Sometimes sitting and doing nothing. And just like being. Just existing. Yeah, just like existing and like. Let's be nice. <laughs> or like, no drama. I don't know, like right now, like sitting together, that brings me joy. I guess Jeremiah too, he brings me joy. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, shout out. <laughs> shout out Jeremiah, I guess. I just like being in nature too, and I don't Ooh. get a lot of that. I'm an, we're, I'm an earth sign. I always forget you're not an earth sign. Yeah. Because our birthdays are so close. Yeah. But I'm an earth sign, and I live in, you know, a city, so I don't get much of that. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes scrolling through TikTok gives me joy. It makes me laugh. It's and I nice can little, actually yeah. you, like get away from everything that's going on. Until it's right in your face again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But that can bring me joy. Yeah. Yeah. Where do I hope to be? I don't know, directing something? Yeah. Yeah. That's in a few as... years, yeah. yeah. Maybe have a partner by then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, in a few years, I hope that I have a good job, um, living in a nice city that I don't even know where it's at, but I wanna move somewhere. I don't wanna be an indie anymore. Hopefully in a few years, I'll be somewhere else. <laughs> living my best life with a good job. Ugh, I was dreading this question. I ask this question to so many people in like certain like different ways, but like it's a good question. It's so deep. I want to say my first thought right now is just like I wish there was like more community, mm -hmm. you know, because like in LA people drive by themselves in their cars doing whatever 
and it's hard to like socialize because like in New York and Chicago you can take public transit and you're like with people even mm -hmm. though you might not be like friends with them you're like with people seeing other people you know because mm. LA is just so big that's so funny you would think in LA that's where it's at that's just my experience I'm also an introvert so yeah well, but just like having like a community because I like I always I always kind of feel like other yeah I, I haven't like figured out how to do, deal with it probably I wish there was more more diversity less mm -hmm. hatred and racism I just wish everyone could be accepting of everyone and every relationship and be aware and be aware yes I wish people were more aware I wish people could like diversify their minds a little more because like I think that we are because I'm hanging out with my friends and my people and then I step outside of that and I'm like no we have gotten nowhere almost I wish I wish that would change get out more travel yes. see yes. the world see the world talk to in this people. economy but like come on you can do a little something yeah <laughs> like something like try right yeah I mean I could add on to mine <clears throat> but yeah. like it's kind of the same thing Know, yeah, just having like a community garden and like being able to like support people. Oh, you know, yeah, just more community overall. Yeah, I feel that Cause way like, too. Because like it's also that thing with like social media. Someone said it's like you might have a million followers or followers on TikTok, but that doesn't translate to your real life. Mm. So, so it's like figuring out that balance. Like it's your community, like your physical people who are like, close to you, not just online. Yeah, on social media. Yeah, that's true. Because AI is getting pretty scary. Get a out. A year ago? <laughs> get out. Wait, get out? Find a studio apartment, get out. You might not think you can afford it. Yes, you can. Oh? Yes, you can. Oh. Don't worry about it. You're fine. You're very independent. You'll be okay. Oh, don't you wish get you could actually tell yourself that? Yep. Dang. There's so many things I would tell myself a year ago. I would tell myself, do not stress about that stupid exam that you didn't pass. It'll be okay. You will survive. It is not the end of the world. You'll survive. Talk to your friends. Cry it out. But keep moving. We gotta keep moving. And try not to be like too hard on yourself. I was always so hard on myself. I would tell myself that a year ago. Try not to be so hard on yourself. Um, do not settle for a job that doesn't pay you to what you're worth. See, I don't know what that means yet, <laughs> but once I get there, I'll get it. Yeah. And it, the economy will probably change, too, so make sure you're yeah. like keeping up with it. Yeah, I want to keep yeah. up with it, and I want to know my worth, and that includes how my job treats me, and how much they pay me, and all that. That's my advice. Know my worth. I feel like I always do this, but like it just doesn't work out. But I'm just like, just make the film. Just do it. Mm. It might cost a little bit. Like, that's part of the risk. You gotta risk, you gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know? <sighs> it's just like just do it <laughs> yeah which is so it's easier said than done but like you have people you can rely on and who want to help you like make the film just make make a film it doesn't have to be like perfect or like whatever and then just like write and then like write and submit it and then like use that money for you know just like yeah do it do it do it just do it Ugh. the thing you want to do just do it you can do it <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. I tell myself that, and then, you know, I do nothing the next year, so I'm just like, <laughs> just do it. Yeah. That's a good one. But I'm not Nike, okay? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Anything else you want to say to this video? <laughs> what, a, what a year it's been. It's been awful. Yeah, honestly. We're in the plague years. Yeah. Tw the, what was it? The 20 teens? Mm hmm The plague years. Yeah. I hope next year's better. Did I just jinx it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you always hope the next year is better, but... It will be better. It's an even year. Mm, so it'll be better. Cause, wait, you're 25, you're gonna be 25 and 24. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be 26 and 24. Mm. It's like even numbers. Yeah, it is even numbers. I, I say that, but like, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. We survived this year. Yeah, we did. Barely. Yeah, barely. Bye. I'm engaged! <laughs> <laughs>